well, hello there, YouTube. Look at this, man. Isn't this beautiful? It's not, <laughs> it's 50 degrees already. But I think it's supposed to rain all day today, or most of it. I'd zoom in over there, but those guys are working. I don't want to dive in on them. But they've been out there flying around that field since the crack of old dark early. Isn't that nice? It's not the morning does a cooing. <laughs> what are we today? 23rd, yep. Well, water wagon, don't let us down. Wish you could talk to us and say, you guys gonna be okay, don't worry. <laughs> it is odd after all. The old clunker lived. It is. We're driving it. <laughs> Freeway bound and down. Lord help us. Look at that ship in the background. That's not what I came on for. They're replacing the ties out there. It is so cool watching those machines suck an old one out and drag a new one in. Pretty impressive. And I mean, they are attacking this thing. Well, that's a major uh, deal here, so they gotta do that quick. They ain't got time to mess around. There's trains to be run. That's pretty cool though, isn't it? Ah, man. Woman, literally one of the craziest, well, um, not scary, but craziest drives. Yeah. Four complete stops on the freeway. One couple of accidents, accidents with yeah. cars everywhere. Ah, should have stayed home. Yeah, man. What Never a ever to get here. Random drive to work. I know. Very bizarre. Yeah. Which oh man. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta go. hurry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have yourself a wonderful hump day there, Mama. You too, hubby hub. All right. All right. I'll see you here in a little bit when I come up from my mud. Same All good. right. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. Now. Man, I tell you guys, you know what a big OEM fan I am. I just, I am not into hacking crap together. This is for tomorrow. Look at that cobbled thing. I'm sure it's fine. Definitely, definitely not OEM. I mean, really? And I gotta wire all this and they give me scotch locks? Are you kidding me? And then this is laying in the bottom. This bag's not open, so these parts didn't fall out of that bag, as far as I can tell. I'm hoping they did because I have four nuts, two washers, and one screw. Look at the quality of these things. I wouldn't put this on my lawnmower. Spend a few extra bucks. It's not that much. Buy the OEM stuff. At least this is one I've seen plenty of them that you <laughs> you can't remove the hitch without taking the the um, axe. Oh, yeah, you, you will with this. So, like the BRP one, you pull the bolt out, and it all comes off. Technically, you can do this, but you can't get to the axle net. So all this, if you have to change your tire or adjust your belt, it's all gonna come off. But it un looks like it unbolts, but still, this the brackets, you're gonna take the brackets off. You won't have access to the axle nut. I, I just, I don't get it. It's not like BRP's out of stock on them or anything, but it's not an OEM trailer, so mm, yeah, lots of, that just gives me anxiety because I know the problems that can come from putting these little Chinese homemade wiring harness kit things on a spider that lights and stuff are controlled by CAN bus. I've seen some and heard some horror stories, but I don't know. <laughs> 
I don't know if I got enough time. I, I mean, they they bumped it from a regular hitch, but dang, Ryan had to contend with one of these last year, if you remember. And you know how fast he is. He spent almost five hours on that thing. And he was pissed off. I hate to think how much time I'm going to spend on it. For just because somebody wanted to say, you'll what you'll pay in labor will far exceed the just putting a BRP kit on there. It just it just doesn't make any sense to me to put something that's made for the bike. Everything has a spot. Where's all this gonna go? So it's just gonna be a it's gonna be a hack job. And the worst thing is somebody somewhere along the line is gonna pull body parts off of this thing. And go, jeez, who put all that crap in there? Oh, Sean Smoke did it. Pro Caliber. Yeah, and then I look like the new the new boob. <laughs> oh well. It's just a job. Remember the wheel? Dude, I there's a reason I don't do I just can't do it. I I've been fighting this thing. Those tires are so stiff. And these Anarchy threes, oddly enough, are not that stiff. My, I just, with my back, I can't do it. I got it off. He's putting a new one on. Remember the last time we ordered a wheel, it took forever? That was the gentleman with the, uh, that has my 2017 or 18, the gentleman's GS, the GS exclusive, 1200. So I ordered, wherever it's at. Oh, it's here somewhere. Oh, here it is what they call a RDC, as we know them as TPMSs. It's an RDC repair kit. And the main thing is it comes with the new, the new O-ring. You don't want to try to reuse those. See how they form fit to the rim. So there's the RDC or the TPMS. They just keep getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And man, good thing I was very, very careful because whoever, which was BMW obviously, put this thing in, it was all caught to one side. You need to have them like in the middle. That thing was all cocked to one side. Good thing I was, and that's the side I took off first. So there was, it never fell into the rim. You'll notice how there's a shallower side than the other. This needs to be the side you take off first so that the tire comes off and when you do the other side it slides around in here well you want that to be on the bottom so anyway it and you don't work from this side ever you work around it so that the tire just sits here you don't want to try to peel obviously if you try to peel the tire across and come off when you're taking the second half of the tire off it's over you're buying a two, I think they're 260 or something like that. 265. The batteries in here just live forever. Not when you crush them with a tire tire machine. See, there's where it reads the uh, pressure. People are afraid to put like ride on and stuff. They go, I don't want to ruin my TPMS. Follow the rules. Your valve stem needs to be at 10 or two and uh it just pours in there it goes around it never touches that thing never harms you absolutely tpms safe it even says so on the bottle so what i'm gonna i'm gonna do here is get the rdc put on this thing with the repair kit as they call it and I'm going to walk my happy butt upstairs with that wheel and that tire. And I'll let them, whoever, take the time to put that tire on there. That and our balancers. Somebody decided, we know who, but somebody decided to uh, try to balance their car tires on it. And the thing is actually set up to do that. But when they were taking it apart to put the kit on it for the car tire thing, they bent the shaft. It no longer balances tires. I keep saying they're gonna fix it. 
but Matthew does, I don't do any tires. Matthew does the tires and he, some of those things like Harley wheels and stuff, those old Harley wheels are heavier than you can possibly imagine. I mean, this thing's just a featherweight. Man, what is in them things that make them so he heavy? But he l lugs that thing all the way up into the upper shop and uses the balance machine there. We got a couple of them up there. I think there might be three of them. Yeah, anyway, I love the Acro exhaust, but you cannot get the <laughs> you cannot get the wheel off. The nice thing about BMWs, they're so easy to take the wheel off. Now, if you have an Acro, you gotta take it off. You need to be very careful because this carbon attaches way down here. This carbon's hanging out here. Carbon's got a lot of strength, but if you go, you side load it, you find out just how little strength it has. And uh, I can imagine that thing's pretty expensive. Just gotta be careful. Don't be doing a bunch of stuff on the bike with the exhaust off. <laughs> that could end, end in a very expensive way. But man, they sound so good on these things. All right, let me go. Let's get this done. And then I'm gonna do the rework procedure on the front wheel. Don't have to do it on that wheel. It uh, All the wheels since 2017 all pass. I think it was a robot problem or something I heard. But uh, I can't confirm nor deny that. Whatever it was, they know which ones, they know exactly which ones um, have the, the bulletin. And uh, this one, even though it's a 2018, has the bulletin. My first 18 I've ever seen, that's kind of weird. Anyway, let's bounce. Tires being changed and balanced upstairs as we speak. Thank you, James. Um, anyway, something showed up today and, uh, I thought I'd talk to you guys about it right quick. So I'm a huge fan of monocles, which is a, a one-eyed binocular. <laughs> I've had this one probably a couple of years, whatever. It's a Vortex 8x25. I go with the 8x because, uh, it's more stable than a 10. The difference between the 10 and a 8 is, yeah, it's not that much, but you get a more stable vision with that and it lets in seems to let in more light as well anyway kelly uses this a lot looking at the birds when she's sitting out on the porch and um i want you let me get you one of those things no and i go yeah we should probably get you one so she goes, i don't mind using yours i go well well she's about to get that because ordered it yesterday showed up today it's amazing amazon how quick this is the Leica, what they call the Leica Monovid. Monovid. Look how the case lifts the... I only got one hand, so I gotta roll it out. This is an 8x20. Oddly enough, it seems wider than the 8x25. But legendary Leica glass. It's incredible. It's so clear and crisp got this little leather handle on it this one you know when you're not wearing glasses i never use my glasses when i use these things i like the cup being out so this one you turn it pops up this one pops up Leica is a is a german company and um but they build a lot of their lenses and stuff maybe even cameras in uh, portugal and that's where this monovid is built Very, very nice. And in the case is a mac macro lens that unscrews from the case, goes on the front of it. It's crazy. It's like uh, having a microscope. It's crazy how close you can get to things. Super nice leather case, no Velcro. So if you uh, you know pull it out near, near a little critter you want to look at, you don't get the, the Velcro sound that pulls it out. It's got a little lift. It's hardened. It's all leather. It smells really good. It's really high quality leather. Anyway, thought I'd show you guys those. Really love how that looks. Now Kelly's gonna look at this and I'll be in trouble. <laughs> when she looks through that one, you whoa, that's a lot clearer. But she's she likes being budget. So she'll be happy with that. I always take care of my stuff. You can see that thing's a couple years old and like brand new. You spend money on these things, you gotta take care of them. What happened to the front wheel? Doing the rework thing. 
All I have left is the um, flip it over, do the um, five newton meter on the other side and uh, do two newton meters on the little lock grubs inside there and this thing will be done. Heck yeah. I don't think there was anything else. I think it was just the, the wheel rework and then a new tire. But time to roll out of here. We'll see y'all on the top side here in just a moment. So, uh, yeah, I think it's going to rain today. Holy moly. So we're about 10 or 15 miles down the road. And a uh, slight change. <laughs> this is Carol's Bluff. We were just looking at all of the guys working on the tracks right along the left of us here. Man, that was one heck of a downpour. I was gonna show you a waterfall here. Hang on, it's coming. Maybe not. There's a little one. Oh, or is that the one that used to be big? Or is this the one that used to be big? None of them is bigger as what they used to be though. What in the heck is the world coming to when you're happy to pay $4.59 for a regular unlit? <laughs> Woo, that's pretty out there. How do you go from all that rain to this beauty? Well, hello there, YouTube. Man, it's cool out here. Yes, totally. Man, that wind's blowing, sun went away. Coming up the hill away from the freeway out there just kept getting darker and darker and darker. It did. Now it literally looks like it's about to rain on us. But anyway, that was a good day at work. Went by fairly quick. Stay yeah. busy. It tends to do that for some reason. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. But, uh, I don't know. You got anything to say? No. I'm just like, I got other things on my mind. And it's got irons in the fire. Can't think of any stories or any lies to tell so i reckon we better go <laughs> <laughs> well thank you guys so much for watching we really do appreciate it we will talk to you tomorrow same smoke time same smoke channel don't forget to give it a thumbs up and you guys have an amazing thursday or friday heck yeah all right see you in the morning till the morning the old war wagon she never didn't miss, miss a beat all day yeah she done good no earthly idea what that was all about i don't know that was definitely a grim one yeah Hope it doesn't come back yeah. in a bad time, like from work to home. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. <laughs> At least I know it'll run. Just Yeah, gotta keep your foot in. Yeah. It. All right. All right. See you in the morning. See you then. Bye-bye now. Bye.